a 20 year old woman who gets an abdominal pelvic CT scan. Now that's almost all women who go to the emergency department with abdominal pain has a one in 250 chance of getting cancer from that single scan. Now this is a very scary statistic, and especially when we think of the remarkable increase in the use of these scans. Now get this, three million CT scans were performed in the United States in 1980. In 2011, there will be 72 million that's an average of 19,500 scans every single day. Now, one in five Americans will receive a CT scan this year. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there watching this that have had this scan yourself. It's estimated that the CT scans done in 2007 will lead to the future cancer of 29,000 people and lead to 15,000 people's death. Now mainstream allopathic experts say that one third or more of these scans are unnecessary. Now me judging by my patients and the scans that are ordered by other doctors, I would say it's more like 99% of the scans are normal. So that means far more are probably unnecessary. Now in addition, a 2004 study found that only 50% of radiologists and 9% of emergency room doctors were even aware that CT scans increase the subsequent risk of cancer. Now, abdominal pelvic CT scan has the same radiation as 450 chest x-rays. You know those body airport scanners that you're afraid of? Well, you would need 200,000 of those scans to equal one single CT scan. Now remarkably, the radiation that these scanners delivered is unregulated. Recently, investigators have, have discovered that numerous scanners in the country are on the wrong setting. And they're basically frying people like a Thanksgiving turkey. Now children are at the greatest risk as the damage caused by radiation from these scans are cumulative. And so kids have a long time to grow. Also, their cells are more actively growing, so they're more susceptible to damage. Now, in kids, there's been a five-fold increase in CT scans from 1995 to 2008. And the use increases about 10% a year. So let's face it. In medicine today, the CT scan has replaced the doctor's physical exam, and it's replaced common sense. The cost is important. But I wouldn't be so upset if it weren't for the coming cancer epidemic because of these scans. But the cost is part of what drives this. Hospitals, doctors, they buy these machines primarily to increase their profits. Now, even if these risks turn out to be less than we fear, most skeptics agree that we're causing a lot of cancers with these tests. And many of these could be prevented if we took a few sensible steps. So here are my recommendations. First off, don't get sick and don't go to a doctor in the first place. Then I guarantee you'll never get a CT scan. Now, if that doesn't work, at least avoid repetitive tests. I can't tell you how many patients I've had that got a CT scan of the same body part for the same reason that they just got two months ago, but they forgot. Keep a record of all your scans. If each one of these scans has the potential to cause cancer in you, they also increase the risk of heart disease, then you need to know, don't get more scans than you need. Now go to facilities that have examined the risk and know their machine settings, and they set the dosages so they're pro the proper dose and minimizing the dose. This is especially important in kids. If they try to blow you off and call you a kook, I suggest blow them off. Now also ask questions of the physician. Can the scan wait a day or two or a week or two to see if the symptoms resolve on their own? Doctors say they often order unnecessary tests because the, because the patient insists. Now I'm sure this is true. 
Now this is not the same thing as getting a free undercoat on your new car. You're actually lucky if you don't get the scan because you'll have a lower risk of getting cancer. Now I've heard so many thousands of times from patients that have had the scan and they're extremely happy. And they're happy because the scan was negative. They're almost all negative. So if you have a ne negative scan, in my view, you should be mad. That means you probably didn't need the scan in the first place. And now you have significantly increased your risk of cancer. Now another suggestion is see if an ultrasound or an MRI can be substituted. The MRIs have improved and they can replace a CT scan many times and so can ultrasound. Also ask if the physician ordering the scan owns the machine or may be getting a profit from the machine. He may be ordering the scan to make the least payment on the machine. Now I've seen reports that if the doctor owns a machine or has an interest in it, then he's 300% more likely to order the test. Now radiation can cause cell injury uh, and death directly, and it can also injure cells indirectly through re free radicals. It can also initiate and promote cancer. The best prevention, besides avoiding the scan of course, is you guessed it, a natural foods diet. Antioxidants like vitamin A, E, and C protect your cells from free radicals. Minerals like zinc, magnesium, selenium also have protective properties as they're the center of important enzymes. Having optimal vitamin D levels also helps because this reduces cancer risk. This means you need a nutrient-dense diet and possibly supplements. Now, I hope this information has been helpful for you. Please share it with someone you care about. This is Dr. Gerhauser. Thanks for watching.